to ministry. Amen. We've come to celebrate. Sister Lassie Smith answering her call to the ministry. Amen. She has a message for us this evening. I thank God for being able to experience this. Amen. Let us stand and sing this wonderful hymn of the church. A wonderful friend we have. Thank you. 
vaccines, family members, and some friends who have come from out of town. Will you kindly stand? Say 
have experienced so far, God has ministered to me this afternoon. And so now we're here to just be ministered and to see what the Lord has done for this woman of God. Amen. 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 Pastor Murray, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I just met Sister Flaxine last week when I came to the funeral for Sister Byers. But there was a spirit to this young lady here mm -hmm. that just grabbed me. So I told Pastor Murray, I'm going to be co father in a minute. <laughs> and then when I checked my schedule, I realized that I had a program in my church at 3 o'clock, too. <laughs> So I had to tell them, listen, I got to split and divide myself. <laughs> but of course, there's something about this church that is really holy ground. Every time I come here, I want to preach. <laughs>
Lincoln Mansion. Uh, we have a special musical guest today, Ms. Zenobia Smith. She's at the piano. All right. Please invest us with your music. All right. Yes. 
Carl, went to high school, Western Hillsborough Green, uh, High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. Then she went off. I mean, I mean, she traveled. <laughs> 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 Church in Attleboro, Massachusetts. Right. Amen. Uh, she took some courses at Guilford Technical Institute in North Carolina, and then at Massasoit, 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 That name. <laughs> Community College in Brockton, Massachusetts. Amen. She's currently uh, taking courses at Columbia College in Independence, Missouri. Amen. Amen. She is the proud mother of two sons, Amen. Gregory and Brian. They are here, aren't they? Yeah. Raise your hand, brothers. All right. I 
I'd like to recognize my family. My, I know that they've already been recognized with my two sons, Gregory and Brian. My mother, my dear aunt, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland, and my niece that wanted to come and see her on. I want to thank all of you with your smiling faces out there. It's so good to see you sitting up here with smiles on your face and loving me the way that you do. I want to thank both of my neighbors, both of my next door neighbors. Not only has Zenobia come and blessed us, my neighbor Olga and her whole family has come to bless us. And Stacy, praise God, took my sister-in-law to buy this dress she has on this morning. <laughs> church who got together and gave me a wonderful dinner. I didn't even know Karen could cook. Amen. <laughs> I always love my young people, so I want to just say hello. Thank you for them. They taught me a whole lot. I see my sisterhood president sitting out there. I got to recognize her because I work with her in the same building. Thank God. <laughs> Sister Winona. God is just so good. He is good. All the time, every day, every hour, every minute, every second of the day. I just want to give honor and thanks to Sister Moss, Mother Moss, who is always there for me, the Williams family, Sister Winkley, Cheryl Cheeto, who just filled right in when I just asked her and David. They were just wonderful. The missionaries who have taught me a lot, a lot of patience. And my best friend, Pat Edward. I don't know what I would do without Pat. Raise your hand, Pat. Pat takes me unconditional. She sees all my bad parts. She sees the addict and the con. Praise God. Wow. 
no special treatment. But God has combined the members of the body and has made each part of equal importance. So that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now, let us look at the church and attempt to apply the same principle or rule here. If the missionaries, the foot, if they're given to contribute to the need of others, let them give generously. If the men's ministry, the eye, is to develop strong leadership, let them govern with diligence. All right. If the ushers, Watch out. Come on. if the ministry of the ushers, the ear is serving, let them serve. Right. If the music department, the choir, the hand, is to bless the body with songs and hymns, let them do it harmoniously and with joy. All right. All right. All right. Yes. If the Christian education, the head, is to teach, let them teach with perfection. All right. Come. 
the good of the body, and that nothing is impossible. Have you been at a crossroad in your life? Are you on the moving soul train? If so, then you will soon discover that you too have an advocate who will go to the Father on your behalf. Before we were born, before our inception, he knew what our body parts were to be. A part of the whole. When we begin to understand that it really doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, black or white, male or female, young or old, have degrees in philosophy, political science, social science, economics, or whatever. When God has a calling on your life, when he has a plan and a purpose for your life, a special plan for you, you will see further by. He tells us in his word that his plans for us will prosper and will not bring harm to us. When we finally fall in line with his plan, we will have hope and peace and will welcome the future. We will know that he will stand with us and will give us the wisdom to know. He will show us the ladder that we have to climb. The correct door to enter. He will give you your destination to follow and there will be no road construction to slow you down right. or to put you on a misguided tool. Right. He will teach each member to take one day at a time for the sake of enduring, for the gift of having patience. Sometimes we have repeat offenders.